pictures. I want to see yours. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled. I was so disappointed Just... we didn't find the elk, but <laughs> that's even better. You were right there for a like... long time. <gasps> yes. Oh, what a great day. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel Wander Time. Today we are road tripping through Eastern Oregon. I'm going with mama on our little road trip. So our goal today is we just crossed um, from Eastern Oregon into Idaho. It's gonna be a couple episodes of our road trip. So come along, it'll be fun. So after another long drive, we finally made it to our yurt. How cute is that? We got this bear box over here. Put food in. And there it is. Oh, cool. Got bunk beds. The stove. This will be much warmer than a tent when it gets below freezing. Right. Very nice. I love it. How cool. Good morning and welcome to my channel Wander Time. We are on day three of our National Parks road trip. Um, so yesterday, yesterday yesterday afternoon we made it into Harriman State Park and we kind of got settled into our yurt. We didn't really do much exploring we just kind of wanted to get settled and get um, just relax after we spent a lot of time on the road so today we're really gonna go explore the park I think we're gonna go rent some horses and take some trails um, and I'm really hoping to see some wildlife a big horned owl flew right into our campsite last night and we heard elk bugling all night long it was incredible so I'm really hoping we'll be able to get to enjoy them get to see them a little bit so let's get going and yes, I am wearing my super sexy Christmas onesie. They're warm and everybody's going to know who you are. <laughs> so, for our time here, we have got a horseback ride early in the morning booked for our very last morning here. And so, until then, we're just going to do some hiking around the park. We're going to see what kind of wildlife we can find. Um, the great thing about Harriman is that it's a wildlife refuge, so they have tons of different bird species. We already saw a big horned owl, mm -hmm. big yeah, horned owl. huge one last night, which was super cool. And I was like, ran out from our campfire and saw it, and I was yelling at mom. I was like, Mom, bring my, bring my phone, bring the camera. But it just it happened so fast, there was no catching it. So I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. He comes back through and I can just snap a quick picture of him. Um, we made eye contact for a long time. It was a really magical moment for me. So, um, so now we're just gonna hike on off and see what kind of things we can find and just wander. And then our last morning here, we're gonna do a four hour horse ride. Um, and we're gonna go in search of elk herds, which it sounds like he said we have like 85, 90% chance of finding elk herds. So I'm really pumped about that. So let's get going and see what we find. Our first part of the hike, we're gonna be coming up around this lovely lake. This is Silver Lake and there's just, I hope the camera can pick it up. There's hundreds of ducks out there. We saw some swans. Um, the, one of the guides told us that these, it, there's, you can see tons of eagles, owls, all kinds. Here they go, look at them. Super cool. So it's great for watching animals. It's really just super fun. So we're going to come around the lake and then we'll head up and we're going to try to make it up onto the ridge, but we'll see how much time it takes and what, what we're feeling like. Cause we're kind of just going at our own pace and whatever feels like fun. Um, yeah. Liking it. Loving it. Mm -hmm. Look at these cat, cat tails. Sorry. And they're super fun to play with. They just kind of poof. <laughs> and I'd always seen them, but I'd never messed with them before. And I was on this uh, 
rafting trip on the salt with my cousin and we came along floating down the river and found these and I took one and I, he was all wet from the river and getting splashed and I whacked him with it and it just poof all over him. <laughs> it was the funniest thing just and they are they're kind of hard so they kind of hurt so you got to kind of like break them first and then whack someone with them and they'll just poof all over they're better when they're kind of more mid-season and not late in the season <laughs> fun little story <laughs> wacky wacky <laughs> yeah merry christmas poof okay so we are just entering targi national forest um, the trail kind of sweeps through Harriman and then comes up into the forest and kind of comes back down into Harriman. It kind of zigzags through. And we're just being really quiet right now because that'd be our best opportunity to see animals. We're middle of the day, so it won't be until probably later that we actually see a lot of wildlife. But we were just kind of noticing right over here. You can see where deer or elk kind of bedded down for the night where it's all kind of flattened and the rest of the field standing you can kind of see where they were where they were taking it easy in the evening so we're definitely in the right area found this feather and we've kind of decided it's probably owl it's kind of light brown gray and these markings and it's perfect because if you look at these trees they sit in when they sit up there, I mean, they're damn near invisible. <laughs> they look like just like a bump on the tree, unless you're, you've spotted them moving or something. So those feathers are really cool. It kind of highlights how well that they're gonna blend in. It's just the patterns and everything. It's just perfect. I love it. Nature's super neat. So I'm gonna see if I can coax the elk out of hiding by bugling. I've been told it sounds a lot like an elk bugle. My friend makes fun of me for it all the time, so. <laughs> it didn't sound like one, did it? <laughs> mom's favorite part. We've come to a junction and we can either go coronary bypass up this way to the ridge or we can take heart attack hill. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna pan over to mama and let her decide. She's trying to kill me. Which one you want? I don't know. Uh, I think they're I think coronary bypass is longer but not as steep at the beginning. <laughs> you choose. Uh, I think we're gonna go on Heart Attack Hill. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll load you into my pack, Mama, don't worry. <laughs> that was relatively easy. <laughs> it's just so funny, they got this really aggressive, most difficult son. <laughs> this really aggressive man. And it's like, it's like a little hill. 100 yards of... 100 yards? A little hill. <laughs> Maybe it's to trick people who aren't locals to just stay out. <laughs> this is easy. This is good. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> so 
we found some elk, but they're way, way off. <laughs> so we're at the ridge overlook and way down in these fields down here. There's so many elk just muling around over there by that, that little lake. There's a lake and then this field. <laughs> they're so far away. But we saw them, so it kind of counts. It kind of counts. I was kind of hoping for more of a close encounter, but... <laughs> take we what still you, will. Take what you can get. So. Alright, let's go. You scared me. Running through the brush like that, you little jerk. Don't even talk to me like that. see anything today other than squirrels. Oh my god, my owl friend is back. He's back. so glad you came back. I was so sad last night. Wow, this is like the best. He's not even concerned about me, not even a little. Nope, he's just straight up ignoring me. That's fine. And look, his feathers match that feather we found on the trail earlier. I can't believe it, he came back. I'm just gonna wait here until he does. Oh. oh my gosh. <sighs> my whole day is complete. I didn't see an elk, but... Uh, you think it was a smaller one than last night? I don't even care. I got a few pictures. I want to see yours. Oh my gosh. I'm so thrilled. I was so disappointed we didn't find the elk, but <laughs> that's even better. You were right there I for a like, long time. Yes. Oh, what a great day. All right. Day four and we are headed to Yellowstone. It turns out, or we knew, um, Yellowstone's about 30 miles from Harriman State Park. Um, so we wanted to make sure to get a day in there. Um, so off to day four. All right, we're taking a little walk on the Great Geyser Basin. Really cool. We've got the wood pathway so we can go right above it and see it. It's really cool. The last time I was in Yellowstone, the only other time I was in Yellowstone, this lady right here took me on a 10 day backpacking trip, my first backpacking trip. And so it's only appropriate that we come visit again together. <laughs> Absolutely. So.
and today is day five of our national parks road trip it's also the final day or final morning rather that we are spending in harriman state park and this morning we are headed off for a horseback experience with the dry ridge outfitters um, this is kind of ex a special experience because it is a limited one it's a, called an elk ride and we're not riding elk but we're actually taking the horses to track elk um, we're in the se their rutting season, which basically means they are bugling a ton, trying to attract females. They're looking for some lady elk booty, <laughs> but that works in our favor because that means they're very active right now. And so we're going to go with the outfitter and they're going to guide us to find uh, the elk on horseback. Um, so it is about six o'clock in the morning. We're meeting them in about 20 minutes. Um, and still dark, it's freezing, but we're gonna get it going. hopefully. across the lake. So we just made it back from our early morning elk ride with the Dry Ridge Outfitters. Um, and so I'll start by saying it was a beautiful experience. I highly recommend it if you get the chance. Um, it was, we left in the dark and we watched the sun rise and we listened to the elk bugle for a couple of hours and we got to see almost as many, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of elks out. Um, we rode past lakes, up ridge, up the ridge, through pastures and forest. It was really a wonderful experience. And so if you get the chance, absolutely take it. Um, the only con is this experience only goes 
um, during their rutting season. So beginning of September to late October. Um, so it's starting to get very, very cold in this area during that time. Um, so bundle up extra. I wish I had thrown on an extra pair of socks this morning, but we made it through and got back just fine. And um, they definitely delivered on the experience. We got to see a ton of elk and listen to them. And um, yeah, so I really loved it. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed seeing this experience and always, as always subscribe and I will see you on the next wandering.